Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and this is the final tutorial on how to model UV map and texture a desk. We have already done the UV mapping, obviously the modeling. So now we're going to texture the final assets, which are these three items. So let's go ahead and select our objects. Let's go to UVs, UV editor. This is all of our items. Let's go to image, UV text, UV snapshot. Um, I've already set my project, so the only thing I have to do is type in assets, UV map. So make sure this is a TIFF, and I'm going to use a 1024 map, and then click apply and close. If everything is set up, I should be able to just go to file open. Here is my source images. So I actually need to go to two of my images and there I can find my assets UV map. Oh, okay. So I guess it doesn't like groups. So that's interesting. All right, let me grab everything like the old fashioned way and then do it again. Image UV snap, same story, assets UV map two. apply and close. Okay, so we have everything set up. I'm closing anything I don't need. Okay, so this is the photo, this is the computer, and this is the lamp. So let's uh, double click on this, call this UV snap. I'm gonna go to my channels and delete this. Doop. Go over here and grab a magic wand and select the empty space. Select, modify, contract, 10 pixels. And I'm gonna fill it up with 50% gray. Okay, so that's my border. The next thing is um, creating border. So this is going to be the laptop. And if I remember correctly, this is the keyboard and this is the screen. And then this is also, this is the, the frame. So I'm gonna select this, shift select, make the selection and I'm gonna fill it with some sort of kinda, it's a little bit white according to the reference. And also need a photograph. So in my images, I have this, which is uh, one of my students drew this of me, which I thought was very sweet. So I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna paste it in. It is enormous, so Control T, and then scale uniforming, make sure that you're holding down Shift. Now the frame's supposed to be in here, so I'll just squeeze myself in there. Cartoon version of me. I'm gonna be tiny. Something like that. And if I turn this on, I probably want to use some sort of wood texture on my object here, just because it's gonna look too much alike. So I might act, I might use this one again. Why not? But what I'm gonna do, I just copied and pasted it. And what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try to use one of these overlay options. So until I get something maybe looking like that, or I just want a little bit of a subtle texture on my object so that it reads. So that's a little gray. Um, I think darken might be too much. Maybe something like that would work. If I take this, I can also just reduce the opacity. Okay, so I need this. I want to make sure that I fill this with white, so fill this in. Click on D, create a new layer. Control backspace. The reason why is because I want my, um, I want this to be flushed with the picture. So by using the UV snap, which by the way, I'm gonna drag to the top and I'm going to change this to screen. So I can see exactly where the image is supposed to be. So I'm going to go in here and go to my photo and delete that. And also delete down here. That should do it. Okay. I'm going to save as. This is going to be my working color map. So CLR. Oops, let's try that again. I want this to be a PSD. I guess this is my working. CLR, save, save. Okay, so... I think that's gonna be good for now. I need to put this in a group because it's gonna start getting busy really fast. So I'm gonna call this frame. 
and I am also need to clean up here because I don't need it to affect Let's get a solid brush here. Wow, I zoomed in really close here. Crazy. You can also see I have some other texture, so I need to clean up a lot. So I'm gonna make some selections. I just wanna make sure that I don't have anything that I don't need. All right, so now I'm here. Okay, that didn't work. So now I'm going to go through and just press delete, delete, delete. There you go. Clean it up a little bit. Now the lamp is actually made out of chrome, so I don't need to put a map on it. I can use a shader override, but just in case, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create a map for it. So this is going to be for the lamp. And I'm going to create a new layer but I'm going to make sure it's outside of this group because this is going to be the lamp. And usually silver is pretty light, so I'm going to choose the light color and fill it in. And that should do, it might be a little close, so I'm going to drag the group up like that. Okay, so the computer. The computer is going to be very similar. It's probably going to be gray something like that, but we also need like keyboards. I'm going to go to almighty Google and look for an image of a keyboard. So I think something like this will work, but this one's tiny. Let's see if there's a bigger maps. 450 is getting better. 600. This looks good. So I'm going to grab the snippet tool and just copy and paste this. Copy. I'm going to Photoshop and paste. And I'm also going to shrink it. And I'm probably going to have to find out how this is going to look like while I'm there. So um, let's see what I have here. I need to probably remove this outer white. So delete that. And I actually like the color that it came with. So that silver looking thing, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a selection. Make sure I'm in the right layer and fill it with that type of blue. So the keyboard's gonna match. And over here is gonna be the screen. So the screen has a curved edge. I am going to use this tool right here, which is the rounder rectangle tool. I'm gonna make a selection like that. That seems a little, the radius is a little too strong. So I'm gonna reduce the radius to maybe, hmm, let's do 15 and do it again so that's looking a lot better all right i'm going to right click on this and rasterize the layer i'm going to make a selection and i need to fill it with a dark gray all right i need to see how this is all looking because i'm not sure hide your uvs let's go ahead and save let's go into maya close this and we're going to assign a new material it's going to be assigned a new material. We're going to grab an AI standard surface and again, crank this up to one, go to file, click on the folder. And this is just a working progress. So I am going to go to images and grab the assets color. All right, so let's take a look. So this is the picture so far. You can see that it's a little shiny. So let's fix that. I'm going to go to my AI standard. I'm going to call this assets. And I'm going to increase the roughness. The roughness is going to help break up that texture. Now you can't see it right now, but I'm going to save because something terrible is going to happen. If I render it out, it's going to be a lot less sharper than if it was like super shiny. Okay, so roughness really helps add to it. The preview can't do it. Uh, let's take a look at the, oops, it's thinking, it's starting to chug because it's thinking really hard here. I'm going to stop that. Here is the laptop. Whoops, the laptop does not look too bad. So let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop. And that's not too shabby. And the this object. So right now it's being driven by a map, but what I really want is for it to have the properties of metal. 
So I'm going to right click on this, assign a new material, go to Arnold, choose an AI standard, and over here to the top right there's this thing called presets. And presets, if you click, there is something, you can use a bunch of items here, and one of them, let's say we got balloon, we got brush metal. So we can take a look at brush metal and see what that looks like. So again, I'm going to take a look at Arnold, press play. So now it's very reflective because the environment is so bright, we are getting a lot of white feedback. So what I usually do is assign, and again, you're going to find this in your source images, is an HDRI map. This is going to help replace the dome. So in color, we're going to click on this little guy. We're going to click on file. We're going to click on the folder. And then we're going to click on the H. And honestly, this should be found in source images, but we'll see what that looks like. Um, all right, so let's press play. And notice what it does. It makes it look crazy, right? So I'm going to stop this. The reason why is because right now the color space is an RGB. By the way, this is the file. So if you need to go back to it, you go to color, click on this. The color space needs to be raw. Press play. And now I'm getting a really nice effect. Now the shadows are pointing this direction, which is bugging me, but at least we're getting some really nice reflections. All right, I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna rotate the dome. So I'm gonna select the dome and just kind of rotate it. And I'm looking for that hot spot in the sky. Okay, where's the sun? There it is. So there's the sun. So that means that the shadows are gonna be, um, maybe, oops, I just, let's see what that looks like. Oh wait, that's the front. Where? Oh, geez. Okay, let's just go from what Arnold gives me. So what I'm trying to do is get the shadows behind it. So right now it's on the left. So that means I got to move this more to the right. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oops, I didn't mean to render it with that. All right, so now we're getting some really nice chrome. We're also getting our nice desk. We've got some roughness. We've got probably long shadow so it makes it look like we're looking at the evening. Um, I really like this look, the color of the lighting. Um, it can be pushed a little bit further. There's a lot of noise but we're getting the idea. All right cool. So now this looks like chrome. Uh, this looks like a picture. This has this information as well. If you want to this is pretty chrome like as well so you can right click on these assign existing material and I guess it's this one. I didn't put in didn't type Chrome, so let me change that right now. This is going to be Chrome. All right, let's take a look at Arnold renderer. So you can see nice reflections. We have our computer, we have our picture, we have our desk. I'm going to tweak a couple of things to make the rendering better because it's so noisy. I'm going to um, go to the light. And over here we have samples. Let's go ahead and increase the sample. And I'm also going to increase the intensity to uh, a one. And I think I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Bloop, just like that. Let's see what that looks like. I just don't want the shadows to be here. I want them to be a little bit more in the back. All right, so now it's a little bit more intense, but it's not really bothering me. I kind of like it. The shadows are back here. Might want to revolve this just a tiny bit, just a little bit. And there we go. It's blowing out this a little bit. So we might need to lower the temperature or change the color. This is why you never use solid white because it blows out no matter what. So you always want to use like a type of yellow or it's, you know, different types of color. So let me, uh, hopefully that was helpful. That was a quick tutorial on how to make a desk. So hopefully that was helpful. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to turn this off. I'm gonna escape out of here. If you do not want the camera to render the background, especially this, uh, right here, if you scroll, if you select your dome light and scroll down, there's a camera. You can always just kinda turn that off. And then you can render it. Now it's gonna be completely pitch black back there, but at least you get, and that color looks intense, huh? Um, let me change the intensity. Maybe rotate it just a little. Not you, the camera. Let's try to turn this up. 
Thank you again so much for listening. I truly appreciate all of your time. And actually, the noise is driving me crazy. So let me go to my random setting. All right, let's really hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for listening. I truly appreciate it. We went over a lot of things, including modeling a desk. We UV mapped it and textured it. And then we also modeled and textured modeled UV map and textured three assets. So hopefully you learned a lot. It was a lot of fun to create. I really hope that this will make your work stronger and you will get to create more beautiful things in your portfolio. So let me know if you have any questions. Do not hesitate to ask. You can always leave a comment below. You can always email me. I have a Facebook group, um, Instagram. I'm all over the place. Also, uh, if you want to uh, sign up for my newsletter. You, uh, you're more than welcome to. You can find me at academicphoenixplus.com and sign up for my newsletter where you will get re pre release content. So you will get the, this videos before anybody else will. So thank you again for listening. I truly appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time.